Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is Andy255, and we are working on our cauldron scene. Now, this is a, the, a new version. Um, I just created this video, so this is going to look different than the scene that I had before. You should have most of the simulation done, and the only thing you have left is the steam. So, you'll have to animate the emitter to start, um, start the simulation when you want it to. So, that would be after the bubbles. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the water and then the simulation. Now, we're going to do two disks here. Okay, one's going to be the water, one's going to be the simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and just move that up. And this is going to be our, our water. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move that up. Okay, about halfway and scale it up to from the top view that it covers the inside because it's a little off here on the edges here it doesn't follow the geometry on the other uh, on the cauldron itself so you have to kind of and I'm gonna hit the four key make sure I'm not going outside of the edges there okay it's close but not quite doing it here we go so that's gonna be our water level okay I'm just gonna head and assign a new material we're going to do a blend, we're going to kind of do a, a greenish color, um, dark greenish color for soup, for the witch's brew, and we're going to turn the transparency just about, I would say 75%. This would be totally transparent. So, and then we're going to turn the eccentricity down a little bit for water and bring that specular fall off pretty high. Reflectivity is pretty high but I don't think we're ever going to see that so we're going to pull that down again for water so you can see there's the water some water pool that we have the soupy uh, which is brew so now we're going to go ahead and uh, rename that just uh, soup Texture, right? And so this is going to be called water. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Let's do water on that. Okay, we're going to do another disk that we'll never see. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and move that up. And we want to put that just above, um, right to the top. And we're going to make that a little bit smaller, quite a bit smaller, like that, because the particles will come up through there. We're going to create a particle simulation. I've, di I def I've decided not to use the smoke um, effect. I've showed you how to use it. Um, didn't really care for that. So this will look a, a lot better and a lot easier to control. Okay, let's go ahead and rename that to Steam. And we're going to do Disk right and then we're going to go ahead and make sure that we uh, center pivot delete by type history and freeze transformations make sure that's all cleared out that's super important and then we're going to go in here and go in to get this back and just just show effects to particles and we're going to go into emit from object under legacy particles and then we're going to go ahead and reset it and then under emitter type we're going to use a surface and then we're going to create so when we play this you'll be able to see our particles coming up okay that looks good alright so now in our steam disk we've got our emitter okay we've got our emitter and we've got our particle alright so with the emitter we are going to make sure that we animate particles coming up when we want them. So I'm not sure where you are with your animation. Um, and um, I'm not going to put a time limit on here. But um, we'll just say we want the particles to emit around maybe 180 or maybe 200. Just keep it at 200. So at 199 they'll be off. So. Next to particle rate, 
we're going to go ahead and set a keyframe at zero. So type zero and click on rate and then right click and go to key selected. And then at frame 200, okay, so we'll have no particles going on right here until 199. Okay, and then at frame 200 we start our particles at 25 and we'll set a keyframe for that. Okay, and then we'll go up to maybe frame 270 and we'll get up to the full 100 particles. So let's we'll start off low and work our way up. There we go. So we have some a nice simulation. We'll start at right about 190 and just kind of smoke will start rising. There we go, like that. Looks good. Now we need to change the particle simulation. Now we got the animation of the emitter, so I would go ahead and save your scene. So particle simulation, we'll, we just started that, so let's go ahead and save that. Okay, simulation's working. All right, great. All right, so let's go ahead and move the timeline to where the frame will start so we don't have to wait so long for it to start we're just moving that I am just clicked on this little button right here and I moved it this way to the center so when I start my simulation I don't have to wait so long alright so we start back and go to the particle now in here we're going to do control A to get back into the attributes and click on particle shape 1 and this is going to be our steam so we don't want it to live forever we're going to do a random range lifespan of something like four and then um, random will be like a 0.5 there we go and then we're going to move down to the render attributes and we're going to click from points we're going to go to cloud sw which is software renderable and we're going to click on current render type. We're going to type in a radius of 0.25. Now this has a lot to do with the scale of your scene. You may have to go higher, you may have to go lower, I don't know. Everybody's scene is going to be scaled differently. So you can just kind of play with that a little bit. Now threshold um, means that if your particles are close together that they start to merge and start to blend in with each other. So with smoke we really don't want that or steam and if you want that look you can turn that up a little bit but I, I would not do that right now so um, I think we're good see what the clouds look like now the particles there we go looks good and from the side view you can see that um, the, the particles are not going outside of your um, kettle which is important you might see a little flutter here and there, but it shouldn't be, if your particles are too big, that'll fly out and it'll look kind of weird. Okay. All right, so when we first do particles, they're um, a different color. Uh, so when I go into my particle, I'm going to go into particle cloud. They're going to be a blue color, so you can see them. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they look like. So I'm going to click on, make sure we go to software render. It won't they won't render in in Arnold? Okay, production quality, highest quality, and then we want a Gaussian blur, and we want to be rendering in HD 540. Let's go ahead and do a quick render, and there they are. Okay. Alright, so now all we need to do is change the color and make the disk invisible. Okay? Alright. So, I kind of play with it when it's blue. And I'm going to leave this open for now. I'm going to go back, scroll back, click off. We, we're getting a red, or, um, a red error. So that's not usually good, but uh, it's, it's still doing what it's supposed to do, so I'll ignore it right now. And so I'm going to change the blue color 
to a white color, not all the way white, just the one below that. And we're going to turn the transparency up a little bit more. Okay. Let it play a little bit. And we'll go ahead and render that again. There we go. That's looking better. I like that. And so what I did was I turned the transparency up and and what we should do now is just tr keep turning the transparency up a little bit more as we go along. So we're going to go not all the way to transparent, but we're going to go pretty close. So I'm going to go back and play it again to around maybe 270. There we go. And render it. Oh, there we go. That looks better. I like that. Good. All right, so let's see what it looks like um, without the disk. So the disk, I'm going to go into Control A, and we're going to turn the visibility off on that. So I'm going to go back and render it again one more time. I'm going to go make sure it's at around 300 to get the full effect. I'll render it again. There we go. Much better. So you can see that the steam looks like it's coming right directly from the water. So that's the steam effect. It looks really, really good. Really happy with that so far. Okay. And so you're seeing. Okay, you'll see I have an, an instructor example of my final textured scene. It'll look different than this, but it'll have all the effects in it. Now I'm going to want a render, okay? So make sure you give me a, f a render of your scene, your full scene, so I can see everything, the ground and the background and everything. So just back it up a little bit, and so we'll be able to see everything. And um, and then you're going to want to go in here and do a full render for me. So let's go in here and let's go to HD 1080, okay? All right, that looks good. And then we'll do so we can see exactly what we're rendering. Put my render mask on. And then if you want to center stuff, you can put the field chart on. I'm not quite centered, am I? There we go, right about there. OK, cool. And that's what I'm going to render. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And we'll give me a render, and then you'll do a play blast of the whole thing. Do your render. There we go. That looks good. Happy with that. Of course, you can play around a little bit more if you want to. If you want to make it a little bit scary, you can make the give it give it a green tinge to it just a little bit if you want to. Anyway, have fun and enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. And make sure you turn in the final render and then the play blast. The play blast will show the texturing, and of course, the render will show me the texturing too as well. So I want you to to basically give me an end frame of that. So you can see I went almost all the way to the end. I can go to the end here, get it close, and then do a render. Okay, that'll show me the steam and everything else. Um, I just want the end of the render with the steam. But I, I'm just asking for a render at the very end with the fire going and the steam. Okay, cool. And I'll see you guys next week, or Module 7.